So I love NFL football as much as anybody, but let me tell y'all, I'm glad this is the final preseason game. It's fun and all watching your favorite team play football, but when it's the second, third, and even four stringers playing, I mean, your attention span is minimal. After the first week of preseason where everyone is basically glad that football is just back in general, not a lot of people tune in. Everyone's anticipating that week one regular season game, and I just happen to fall in that same category. I am a diehard fan, so I will watch these games regardless, but if I said I was enjoying every minute of the games, I would be lying to y'all. So thankfully, this is the final preseason game of the season for us, and after this, we get to see Kyler Murray versus Patrick Mahomes week one. This is about to be a nasty matchup, but the Cardinals finna sun the Chiefs, I'm just putting that out there. If you don't believe me, you're gonna find out come week one. Don't believe me, just watch! But I'm not gonna dive into that because we're still about two weeks away from that game, so let's discuss the preseason game we have up and coming against the Tennessee Titans. I'm not sure if Malik Willis is gonna be playing or not, but I'm assuming he is, and I'm actually looking really forward to seeing him play. I haven't paid attention to the Titans, especially not in preseason this year, so I'm actually highly anticipating this because I'm actually a huge fan of Malik. I hope he does well, but I don't want to see him carve this Cardinals defense like we saw last week with the quarterbacks and the Baltimore Ravens. There was like a total of three incompletions last week. It was miserable. I need to see the secondary step up and I need to see them make plays. And if I'm not mistaken, we should also be seeing some of Caleb Farley as well. He tore his ACL in the 2021 season and didn't get to play, but the preseason allows him to get those reps in that he didn't get last year. I'm assuming he's gonna get some run because he needs to knock that rust off and they need him to turn out to be a stud. So I'm assuming we're gonna see some of him, so I can't wait to watch what he can do. And he's someone I thought the Cardinals could take last year in the draft, but you know, instead we went with this guy right here, who we also might see in the preseason. It's not 100% confirmed whether he'll be playing or not, but if Zayvon does play, I'm really hoping he balls out. And moving to the Cardinals side of things, we've been discussing this for weeks now. Andy Isabella and Greg Dortch have been going at it, but instead of cutting someone, I honestly think the Cardinals need to keep both of them. Andy Isabella has shown so much improvement, especially from his rookie season. He didn't get any playing time last year, like at all. So with DeAndre Hopkins suspended, he's not gonna count towards a roster spot. So it's gonna allow us to roster both of these players, or at least that's what I'm hoping because you know, for some reason, Steve Keim, he makes some questionable decisions. But in my eyes, I think it's a no brainer to keep both of them. We need the depth and we've seen time in and time out that our receivers get injured. There's always one person who goes down and we always need someone to step up and we just don't have it. But this year, we are insanely stacked. So Steve Keim, I am begging you to keep both of these guys right here. And another thing I'm looking at, it's literally the same thing. We need to see these running backs step up. We're in a dilemma right now where we really don't have a running back too. It's Eno Benjamin fighting for that spot, Jonathan Ward, Keontae Ingram, and we also have Darrell Williams as well. We haven't seen much of Darrell, Eno hasn't been great, Jonathan Ward is probably the best running back so far this preseason, and Keontae Ingram, he's a rookie and he's actually been pretty decent. I wouldn't say he's been good, but he hasn't been bad either. So this final game is basically gonna determine who makes the team because one of these guys isn't gonna make it. I don't know who that guy's gonna be personally. It might be Darrell Williams if I'm keeping it a buck, but I don't know. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below who you think's gonna get cut out of these four because I'm genuinely curious to see what you guys gotta think. Because in the next couple days, I'm gonna be making a video about my predictions for the 53 man roster. So I wanna see if you guys are in agreement with what I'm thinking. So make sure to drop that comment down below. And for the final thing I'm gonna be anticipating is I need to see someone step up in this Cardinals secondary. If Marco Wilson plays, I need to see him step up. And two players that I really wanna see take steps are Josh Jackson and Christian Matthew. They've shown flashes here and there, but they've also gotten toasted here and there. So I mean, we need to see some consistency from somebody because otherwise in the regular season, we are going to get diced up left and right. So if this secondary continues to struggle and we don't bring in a corner or trade for somebody, I am genuinely concerned. I do expect us to bring in someone, but I don't know who. Maybe Marcus Peters, someone along that line, maybe Greedy Williams. We're just gonna have to wait and find out. But with that being said, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. Guys, we are so close to regular season football. I'm so hyped. It's been forever since we've seen this actual team in action and I can't wait to get back to that. 
And I also can't wait for the Cardinals to make me money this year, and I'm gonna be doing that using prize picks. Prize picks is the easiest way to play daily fantasy. It's literally you versus the projected numbers. You pick two to five players on any over under on their projection, and you can win up to 10 times on any entry. So say Kyler Murray has an over under on 215 passing yards. You can pick the over on that, or you can pick the under, and you can put more people on your card as well and win up to 10 times the amount. And what's great is that all users that deposit and use the promo code MYTHICAZ will receive a 100 instant deposit match up to $100. So if you deposit $100, they will match that and give you $200 to use. That's a pretty incredible offer. And if this sounds like something you want to hop on, I'll have it linked down in the description below. But you could also go to the app store and download prize picks there. And make sure to use the promo code MYTHICAZ and you will receive a 100 instant deposit match up to $100. I'm gonna be on this literally all the time and if you guys wanna see my projections, go ahead and follow me on Twitter or Instagram. I'll also have those linked down in the description and I'll be keeping you guys updated with my picks throughout the season. And one more thing, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys ended up enjoying today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL and Arizona Cardinals related content, so if you're a fan of either of those, this is the perfect channel for you. And we're also less than 30 subscribers away from hitting 4,000. The amount of support y'all have shown has been insane so far. I've been doing YouTube for a little over a year, probably like a year and two months. And I actually started from posting 2K and Madden videos and honestly looking back on them, they're pretty cringy. If you want, you can check those out, but just embrace yourself. I didn't even have a mic at the time. I was using a MacBook to record my audio. It's safe to say the quality's improved just a tad, and over this past couple months, the amount of support you guys have shown has been unreal. I know we can hit 4K subscribers before the regular season, so like I said, if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoyed today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're someone who's already subbed, I would greatly appreciate it if you shared the video to a fellow NFL or Cardinals fan. Let's keep growing the community, y'all. But like I said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy, Mythic. Peace out. And love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory, I tell you how it tastes. Damn, you buy your girlfriend so bad. Maybe cause I never settle like a nomad. Maybe cause I get them open as a toast trap. Sell boy Jessica said he want his flow back. Oh yeah, you know I got the future as he go back. Ball so hard, I need two sports bro jacks. Beating mics up like I'm Joe Jackson. Swear I'm reading through these dudes like closed caps.